altruism, the heart, collaboration, working with others is the three circles, and personal growth, the plant that's sprouting up there. Put in the good stuff, the positive stuff, so that we realize that most of the time it outweighs our bad stuff, right? <laughs> uh, I'm optimistic that this uh, COVID test uh, little hiccup is going to be smoothed over in a minute and uh, a couple, of, uh, you know, probably 20 hours I'll be on my way back to Kosovo and uh, taking all the tools that I gathered from this course to uh, continue to better my future. Yeah. You'll need teamwork and knowledge of the past four days classes to get out of here. Maybe I just left the key on the key hook. Covid locker. All right, Covid locker. What's that? Where's like that? Locker. Covid. See, look, remember, clue number five. So we need that. We're dealing with stressful situations such as you know we are, have no clue what a Covid locker is. So we're, we're working together and you know trying to keep a calm mindset and you know work this together. Good. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I think it was five, but I'm wrong. And I also cheated, and there's numerals here. And there's one, two, three, four, five. This is pointless. I want to get out of this room. Well, it's part of the activity. Uh, this is pointless. Why is it pointless? Why, we can work. Well, why are we writing this on the paper? What, what because is this? this is a recap of all the skills we've got. Right? We're still working in teams, but we split so we can try and progress a little further. Check. Okay. So they were working on this clue, and we had found another clue. But does she think that if we go in different orders, we're not going to get what's the point of it? Some, so some, some things are thrown in front of you as a distraction. So sometimes you have to move forward to see if that one could have been a distraction. Like this. What is the one the microwave said? Kind of. Uh, we got Dreams occur in what stage? Is that stage four of sleep or stage five? Four. I think it's like the second to last one. Four. You think four? Yes. <laughs> what is that? A very unsure guess. Try, try this change. Got it. Yeah. What was it? Six. 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 Six, two, and what was the last number? I just always write all this down. I'm sorry. Six, two, five. Okay. What is the most productive communication style? Stress relief coping skills. A complete list will get you your next clue. The br oh, well, we already did the breaths, okay. Socializing. Socializing. Anybody? Um, oh. I had a bad date last year. I shouldn't try and date anymore because I'm a terrible dater who won't ever find love. I guess maybe it's what does that be. work? Polarize? If you answer correctly, it takes 30 seconds off. You have to sit down for 30 seconds. So right now what we're doing the, the, the escape this room and it's testing all their knowledge throughout what they learned the last five days. So they get a clue and on that clue, it'll tell them something about the program that they learned and they have to solve it to get to the next clue to escape out of this room. Okay, so the backstory of the negative Nancy, usually when you do escape rooms, there's a certain theme. And so I'm negative Nancy, he's negative Nevin, and we are hanging out with the, the group of the team members that went through the RRC just to see what it's like. And so that way they can teach us things while they do this escape room. Well, I am here. I think I'm a pretty bright individual. I think you're a great individual and I joined our still section second up of you. So you know that's a good thing. I guess I guess that makes sense. Right. So they're using all the content that they learned over the last five days. So like the SMART goals, um, I can't say anything else or it's gonna give away the clues. <laughs> so over here in this program, one of the main things that we do is we talk about effective communication. Sometimes how to de-escalate a, a person, how to have a meaningful com uh, conversation using the, the different type of uh, conversation styles, the assertive the compromising, being able to communicate with different persons. There's different uh, type of communication personalities. We have a shark, it's a person that is just win, win, win. We have a fox, which is compromising. And you, you gotta understand what other person is in order to be able to communicate with that person. So we try to throw in some curveballs, have a little bit of a stress, and having them try to de-escalate the conversation and try to add different stressors to the escape room. Having them using all of the classes that we taught in here, like effective communication, the basics, and the listening skills. Uh, the course was uh, refreshing. There's a lot of useful information. Uh, they gave a lot of tools uh, to deal with stuff like anger and stress and anxiety. And, you know, the guided meditation courses were helpful because, you know, it's times when you're just laying there at night and you don't know what to do because you get all these negative thoughts in your head. They were they gave you lots of resources and tools to 
help deal with those negative thoughts and replace the positive ones and to go on existing, at least in the moment, better. So this is a lot of preventative stuff and a lot of stuff to day-to-day -day activities that you know need to be incorporated into your life. It's not a fixer. This class, this class is a day. You fix your problems and you're better. It's tools to repair yourselves. It's it's a before the issues get too bad. It's a preventive action, not. A, so for soldiers who are already too far down the road, I would I wouldn't because I feel like at that point a little more heavier hands needed. But as a preventative mention, a measure, it's a very useful tool. Uh, it gives you a lot of, it's, it's, first of all, it's a week. It's a week of relaxation, dealing with your stuff and tools. It's not a sit down with a counselor for an hour and, you know, complain to them and they tell you to go walk over a walk. It's team building exercises and group discussions. It gives you a sense of you're not, you're not the only one in this because you're in a class with other people. So that, that aspect, alone, aspect alone is very helpful. Um, it's a very, Interactive course. You're not just getting snapped by PowerPoints. There's a there's a class period of time, and then there's usually an activity followed by group discussions. And the team here very much encourages us to speak of personal and you know make it a little bit about us in all those little exercises, which is a very way to make things stick. It's not a you know here's what you're going to do. It's here's what you have been doing. Here's ways we can prove it. And do you think you can use these tools going forward? It's a very interactive and you know it's not like I said it's a it's a it's a, it's a group thing so the way that service members would get access to this program is they would contact their PCM their chaplain or their behavioral health officer um, and those are the three avenues or the command team or first sergeant can go through the PCM BHO or the chaplain um, and what they would do is they would fill out a referral and then they would send that to our battle inbox. We would review the information of the service member and then we would approve or accept the service member into our program. One unique feature of the RRC is what I really wanna stress is that um, we're more preventative behavioral health. Um, so that means some service members that are referred to our program don't need to initially see behavioral health. Um, they don't need to have a diagnosis. Um, mainly it's uh, for people who have combat operational stress reactions or they have occupational relationship stressors early on. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to take them to our program, we want to teach them skills that address their social, occupational, psychological, and physical functioning, and then return them back to duty. So you don't necessarily have to see behavioral health. Um, like I said earlier, you can get a referral by your chaplain, your PCM, and we're trying to address preventative measures early on. Basically what we do is, um, in the RRC, is we focus on the prevention side. Okay, so you're not diagnosed already, you don't have to be acute. Um, this is just a program to work on skills and uh, psychoeducation for behavioral health to return people back to the fight. So the response has been very positive. Um, a lot of times the service members come through and um, they know about these skills. Um, some of the skills that we teach and the psychoeducation that we teach is mindfulness. Uh, we do mindfulness meditation such as yoga and progressive muscle relaxation. We work on healthy relationship skills. We work on effective communication, anger management. Um, we work on a slew of things and the service member has definitely digested that and they have had positive responses in terms of what they learned here and the ability to have the confidence to carry out these skills uh, moving away from the program and when they go back to their duty. We're not here to diagnose you. We're not here to, you know, uh, throw some medications at you. We're just here to work on uh, a couple different domains that might make you feel um, better and uh, perform better when you get back to your job. Um, so it's not necessarily uh, we're going to give you a diagnosis, treatment, follow up, and all that. It's more skills building and practical exercises so that way you can function better within your unit and with your team.